Good morning, Texas. Home and Wealth. Sponsored by Rodney Anderson with Supreme Lending. a brick house or stone house or a new house right now it doesn't really seem to matter because when that house hits the market no matter what kind it is it is selling the dfw housing market is on fire it is hot and here this morning to tell us more about how we can take full advantage of this is gmt's mortgage expert rodney anderson we have had a great conversation this morning Mar rodney you were saying that you've seen an increase in mortgage applications just since last week. Yeah, I mean, purchase applications are on the rise. In fact, there was a great article this past week in Bloomberg uh -huh. that said it's almost impossible to buy a house in the Dallas area. Wow. And a lot of the reason is, is back in 2008 to 2010, the builders were not building. They didn't keep up with demand wow. that's out there. We have so many people relocating, and now we have this huge housing supply. And so it is... 10, 12, 40 offers sometimes on some of these properties, multiple offers all the time. So that's where you're seeing the refinancing applications go up, up, up. Yeah, refinancing applications are up because home values are really rising. Mm -hmm. And for example, give you an example of a gentleman okay. in Frisco. He bought his home a couple years ago. Home values have went up in Frisco so much that he was at four and three quarters. So he was able to refinance, get a little bit better rate. But more importantly, he was paying over $250 a month in mortgage insurance wow. that he no longer has to have. And values had gone up so much that now he is able to tap into his equity. He pulled $30,000 out to pay off all his credit card debt. So it's like a hit in the trifecta at the horse races. All right. Well, one of the things that you and I were talking about, I was asking, you know, if I sell my house right now, can I afford it? And what you were saying kind of goes in with that. Yeah, a lot of people are shell-shocked because when you're out there, you're finding that you may qualify or you may be looking at 350 but you go out there and everything's 450 okay. but a lot of people are selling their homes they're having much larger down payments I have never seen so many people putting 20 percent down 50 percent down just because they have a lot of equity and a lot of people refinanced and did 15 year fixed rate mortgages uh -huh. so their values are going up their their uh, payoffs are going down and it's a double win. I love that. One of the things that you were also talking about, we do see a lot of people cashing out and refinancing, but you're saying they're doing it to send their kids to school. Yeah, I had, it was funny, in the last week I've had about six or seven people, not mom's call, but dad's call, and oh. say, I've got kids that are going to college. I've got a lot of equity in the house. I want to tap in, take 60000 out, 100000 wow. out, and also on these cash outs, because number one, you're going to get a lower rate than the student loans, and number two, you get write-offs many times on tax rates. Right off, mm -hmm. but most importantly, people don't want to go through getting a student loan every quarter or every semester. That sounds like it saves you quite a bit of money just doing it that way. Yeah, absolutely. Now, one of the other things that we really want to talk about, you generally tell us a little bit about uh, pre-approval up front is that first step when it comes to home buying, but there is a difference between pre-approval and also being just pre-qualified. So tell me the difference because I really thought they were the same. Yeah, pre-qualified means a lender has just asked most of your information and got it verbally, your income, your assets and all that. A pre-approval means we've looked at everything. We've looked at your tax returns, your paycheck stubs, your bank statements because when you're talking to somebody and say, okay, tell me about your job they'll tell you what they make. Okay. They forget to tell you about that side business that they have that they're writing off a bunch of tax write-offs. Those things can damage you or unreimbursed business expenses. Realtors want to know when they get an offer, has the lender looked at everything? Are they pre-approved up front? And it is essential in today's market, get fully approved, pre-approved and approved up front. Remind everyone, I know you're talking not only mortgage, but life on your radio show each day. Yeah, relationships, uh, money, uh, mortgages, and all of about our every single day, 1190 a.m., talk radio, 1190 a.m., 11 a.m. to noon, you can catch us. Or you can go to RodneyAnderson.com, listen to any of our previous shows. It's I a lot of it. fun. You can learn a little bit about mortgage. You can learn a little bit about life. You are pretty funny on the radio, guys. Oh, thank you. I love it. I love it. Well, you can call 1-800-EXPRESS for more information or log on to RodneyAnderson.com. Thank you so much, Rodney. That was great information.